Hey there, Andrew Anderson with The Longer Crowbar here, and today we're going to talk about looking at trends so that you can take advantage of them. We've been switching over to Bing as fast as we can and using most of their services here. And I just want to show you a couple of things. So what you'll notice here is whenever I see a strong buy on something by the quote unquote experts, because one of my better quotes is most experts aren't, and in this case, it's always there. So what I'm looking at is these guys are hawking it up, but there was 2.6 million shares by insiders, okay? And then let's go to, let's go look at Microsoft. And there were only 55,000 shares in the last three months by insiders. So do you think they know something? And the analysts, this isn't pegged yet. So there are some smart guys out there, but they're not all jumping out on the bandwagon here. And we've been working with OpenAI since 2020, so three years now going on. And the stuff that they have coming out will blow away Amazon. And Amazon is literally quaking in their boots. They had a big meeting a couple of months ago. They're six months behind Microsoft. Can they catch up? I don't know, man. I'm not really sure. There's some stuff now with the AI models that a guy in a garage or in his office or in his bedroom can come up with something that could beat the big boys, which is why they're pushing to regulate it because they're fear-mongering that it's going to take over the world and stuff, and that may or may not happen. But the only reason they're doing that is because they don't want the little guys to be able to play against them, you know, which is typically what they do. They go in, they buy off the politicians one way or another, and say everything's bad, and you've got to regulate this, and they cut out the little guy. But in this stuff, I think the cat is definitely out of the bag. And you've got Barclays selling off Microsoft. They're in trouble from what I've seen. But 55,000 shares versus, let's go back and look at Google, 2.6 million. This is the best indicator that I can usually find for what's going on. If the insiders are bailing, they know something that the public doesn't. So this the thought they might know. This is not financial advice. I'm not giving you any advice. Invest at your own risk. Talk to a professional if you can friggin' find one. So that is about it, okay? Anyway, so the other thing is with Microsoft right now, if you're advertising, if you advertise on Bing, it costs you 75% less than it does on Google to get clicks and buyers. And the buyers we've been getting on Bing spend about 35% more. So that is kind of crazy. Oh, 75% less, they spend 35% more. What's not the like, right? Google, we'll see what's going on with them, but man, oh man, I don't, I think this thing could go, if this is an M for murder, like this one over here or this one over here, it could easily drop another 10, 15 points. And if I think what's going to happen this summer happens, it could drop back down below 100 easily. It may not do it in all one swoop, but it can get close to it. So that's it. Those are my thoughts, not financial advice. Talk to you later. And follow us. If you're watching this on YouTube, like, subscribe, do all the youtube -y things, and we'll try and give you more information. We're going to get this on a regular basis. And we've got a lot of information to share with you on how to have a better life. That's what this is all about. Talk to you later, because everybody needs a longer crowbar, right? Leverage is king.